The word depression has become a common term in the past few years. People suffering from depression are often looked down upon or called names. There is a big stereotype involved with depression, and it is often confused with insanity or mental instability. Misunderstanding of the term depression isn't the only issue faced by people, but not being able to talk about it is even more dangerous than the word itself. Depression not only means to be sad or negative about life or things in life, it is much more. The constant feeling of not being good enough, the constant feeling of being a loser, constant feeling of fear of failure, anger, self-doubt, low self-esteem, that is what depression can be. For many people it is hard or almost impossible to accept that they are depressed, which means that they don't want to consult a therapist. Just as we wouldn't just go to a hospital if we do not feel that we are physically harmed, it is also understandable that some people won't call a therapist if they don't feel that they have a problem. We need to accept the fact that depression is real and it can happen to both men and women, to every one of us. So what can be done, apart from being aware and attentive to both ourselves and our dear ones? Well, here is a list of possible ways you can try to overcome this condition. Number 1. Find ways to be of service to others. There is a joy in doing something and serving other people, and the best part, it doesn't have to be big to count. Giving back gives us mental boost and a sense of purpose and satisfaction. Volunteering enhances our overall sense of purpose and identity. It helps us make new friends, learn new skills, and feel happier and healthier. While some of us are naturally outgoing and others are shy and have a hard time meeting people, volunteering gives us the opportunity to practice and develop our social skills. This can have a profound effect on our overall psychological well-being. Nothing relieves stress better than a meaningful connection to another person. Working with pets and other animals has also been shown to improve mood and reduce depression and anxiety. But you don't have to join a volunteer force to find a way to be of service to others. It can also be as easy as smiling to the lady at the supermarket when you go get your groceries. Telling somebody what you like about them. Giving a little gift doesn't have to be paid off with money, it can be a self-made cake, it can be a book that you have read and enjoyed, it can be anything that gave joy to you. Giving that to a friend or to a relative can also mean being of service to others. Number two, find workable goals. Most of us feel guilty when talking about our goals because we set unreasonable or unworkable goals. Goal is workable if it is something that we can control, can manage, can be realistic and we can measure somehow. If something goes wrong with our goals, the alternative is to adopt a what can I learn from this attitude versus a judgmental that is why I'm horrible attitude. Don't compare your progress with others. We usually compare our biggest weakness with another person's biggest strength. This is just unfair and not accurate. Number three, exercise and eat right. When it comes to depression, exercise often seems like the last thing we want to do. But once we get motivated, Exercise has a potential to make a big difference. 
Doing moderate exercise about three times a week, 30 minutes a pop, can dramatically help your mood. Some it might help to exercise together with others. The situation in your country might not allow you to meet outside in a park, but you can always connect over video calls for a short morning workout with your best friend or the like. Also, pay attention to how the type of food or drink you're eating influences your mood. Anyone will be depressed if they frequently binge on carbs, junk food and energy drinks. Remember the virtue of moderation, especially if the days seem to be extra dull. It can help to put some colors on your plates. With some fresh fruit or vegetables, you can brighten up your mood as well. Be your own chef and spoil yourself and your dear ones with small treats or nicely decorated plates. Sometimes a basil pot or other fresh herbs growing in your kitchen can do the trick and make it easier to enjoy the little things. The next time you prepare yourself some cheese sandwich, top it with some basil and a fresh tomato. The next time you get yourself a bowl of cereal or porridge, sprinkle some cinnamon and decorate it with grapes, apples, bananas or whatever else might be in season in your country. Number 4. Plan your day. Start focusing on the little things that you like and start your day with a plan. When a person is depressed, the only place he or she wants to be is in bed, preferably under the covers. Checking the phone or making a plan to go outside feels like a lot of work. The first challenge we need to overcome is to make changes in our routine and follow a plan and try to get out of the house. Take a shower, get dressed, take a walk. This will help us to deviate our mind from constant negative thoughts about ourselves. The more we venture outside the four walls of the house, the better our mood gets. Number 5. Visualize a happy memory. Visualization techniques have been used for a wide range of therapies. In this process, you're forming a mental image of yourself that motivates you to take action. This has been successful for stress management and the treatment of anxiety and depression. Sit in a comfortable chair and close your eyes. Focus on the times when you were happy, healthy and doing something that you love. This will slowly help you shift your negative thoughts and will help you become ambitious again in life. If you can visualize yourself happy and healthy, then you already process the strength to move beyond your struggles. Visualization allows us to see our power and desire to heal. It's the most effective step towards success. Doing that exercise while facing the sun coming in through your window Having your back straight and your face lightly turned upwards towards the sky can give you some extra energy. Lastly, we must educate ourselves and society about depression and about how to be around with people who are going through this phase in their lives. Depression should be treated in the exact way as any other illness, as it is a treatable condition. There is no reason to suffer in silence or to guess whether or not what we are feeling qualifies as depression. Seek help from someone who specializes in mental health. Depression has been, and still is, an illness suffered by many, and it is time to remove any taboos attached to it. If you like this video, please tell us in the comment section. Which one of these suggestions helped you overcome your depression? Also, do watch our other videos and subscribe to Mo's channel, as this helps our videos reach out to people who can gain value. Thank you, and see you in the next video.